because the economy is uh, having the problems it is having that, uh, you know, they can't hire me anymore. Joshua Chambers just lost his job working for an IT company. Now he is homeless. His friend Robert Wright is also homeless. He's looking for work and a place to sleep. I'm trying to find work. I'm trying to find a way to not be carrying this big heavy thing around town. Uh, you know, somewhere to put my head down at night. Both say they've seen it. More and more homeless people on the streets. And we have a lot of the people who have had jobs who are very intelligent and uh, they have very you know very versatile skills but because the economy is it, it is the way it is you know we end up basically on the streets I guess there's the people that are always around here the normal people that we run into on a day-to-day -day basis but I have seen a, a pretty large increase in people that I just haven't seen before. Mark Birch with Union Gospel Mission says it's true. The outreach group has had a hard time just keeping up with the demand. Young people, I'm seeing kids and elderly people just coming out of the woodwork. One in every 200 people is homeless in Oregon. While states like New York may have higher overall numbers, per capita, Oregon is the highest. And what's worse is the number of families experiencing homelessness. Nationwide, it's up 9%. Here in Oregon, it's worse. We uh, are in the top three in hunger, homelessness, and unemployment. Commissioner Nick Fish says the numbers are alarming, but now is the time to keep on investing in Oregon's 10-year plan to end homelessness. The economy keeps going down and, and the way it is, you know, a lot of those type of people will be in the same uh, uh, atmosphere.